It's your boy AK and Harley. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an emergency video. This video must be made. I'm gonna start off by saying, I'm gonna start off by saying a couple things for idiots. Because I assume most of you are idiots. But I assume you also you have a brain in your head. I come find out I'm wrong. So we're gonna start off by saying this. <clears throat> Two things. Number one. Anything that I tell you as a fact, take anything that I tell you, period, consider it, consider I'm wrong. I'm an idiot like you. I don't know what I'm talking about. Go fact check. Everything I tell you. Consider me lying until you prove yourself otherwise by doing your own research. I say that to say, now that I told you that, you can't come back and say, this information, I told you, I'm, I'm an idiot, I'm lying. Point number two, I don't incite anything, not violence or otherwise. I'm a guy who speaks his own mind and opinions. And I recommend that you don't take after those opinions. Because remember, I'm the idiot. Right? Cool. That being said, let's get into it. There's a war in Sudan and most of you have no clue. I don't mean a war from like 20, no, I mean a war that started like a couple of days ago. Missiles be flying at uh, uh, Sudan. And as a guy from Sudan, you guys know about my auntie, I'm not going to get into it again. I spoke about it so many times, I'm sick of speaking about it. Right? Cool. Now, lately, I've made the grave mistake. Lately, ooh wait, let me close that. Mm -mm -mm. I had some content open from the night before, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now, my dear viewer, if you had an issue, right? And this this concept that I tell you here, I'm gonna touch on it in the next couple of videos as well, because I got some some to talk about. Let's pretend, my dear viewer, that you have a sickness of sort. Okay, let's pretend you do. That sickness has a cure. What would be the correct action to take in such situation? What would it be? Now, is it better as a sick person? Okay, that you are, you sick of you, you sick mother effer. Would it, is it better to slap band-aids on your sickness? Or would you say it's better to treat the root issue from its from its root, from its from from the from the bottom, bottom, from the you know what's 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 more what's more what's more logical to you to treat the sickness itself? Or we keep slapping band aid on band aid on band aid. I'm just asking you now. We ain't talk about the war. We ain't talk about. A, right? Which is a B, which is the root issue. Or is it A? Call a friend? You can call a friend. No? Okay. So now that we're on the same page here, and we established that basic logic, okay? That level of, of, of logic. Where's Twitter? I'm trying to go on Twitter here. So I can piss myself off for you guys to enjoy, of course. Twitter.com. My Twitter, by the way, is I A K debris. I mean I I repeat I A K debris. Just like the iPhone. And boy oh boy. If you are from Saddam, don't complain to me. I don't want to hear about the war. Either, hold on. Either I'm stupid. Either I'm stupid, or all of you are stupid. One of us is is dumb. Me or y'all. One of us is stupid. Because. The situation is bad. 
<laughs> I can't even enjoy it. You're not supposed to enjoy it because you're a coward. You're f- you're a coward. You know how many Sudanese black boys got the life beaten under under their parents, bro? I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm coming to it. I got the brakes and the life beaten out of me. Under the guise of what? Manhood. You're a your man. You're supposed to be hit. Okay. Okay. Cool. I experienced all this violence and all this instability and all this. You guys like, you know, you see me, I turned out a bad example according to Sudanese traditions, right? I'm horrible. Face tatted, I'm a rapper. I'm not a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer, and I will never be. I'm an audio engineer. Hear, hear me out. The Sudanese life is manhood. You're supposed to be mad. Beat him up. No mercy. Ah, rah, rah, rah. So you had all this, all this, all this. Uh, uh, let me, so I assume you're a country full of grown men who are men, men, right? Right? You're men, men on, on the kids. You're men, men on, on, on the guy who got less money than you. Cool. You're mad when, you, when an artist makes something about violence that you don't like. You're a man on him. Say that to your dictator. Boo. Where's all that energy for your dictators? Sitting up there complaining, 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 complaining. The situation is bad. The situation is bad. I can't enjoy eat. They put a missile in my in my in my house. Good, you deserve it because you're a coward. You had all this manhood and all this energy on the little guys. Where was that energy on a dictator? The situation been bad. You know why it's been bad? Because you let it happen. That's why. A country full of supposed men, men. Where was all these men? Where were they? Answer me. Complaining. Complaining, and you want the world to feel bad for you. Why won't the USA report on this? Because there's no money in it. Are you stupid? Ukraine, there's something to gain. You, you got nothing to gain. The only person that got something to gain is you. I've sat there and watched. Now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why the energy I came. Out. I'm coming hot because I care about my people. They don't care about themselves. They don't care about themselves. I don't even want to monetize this video. Fuck monetization. Let me talk my shit. The stupid bitch, and you stupid bitch on Twitter, you. I'm not going to monetize. I don't need the money. You stupid bitch, you. I'm going to pull out Twitter for you. Stupid bitch. I say it again three times if I have to. Stupid fucking bitch. Look at this bitch. One second. Tweets and replies. Look at this stupid bitch. I'll say it as much as I have to say it. I don't give a fuck. She started off by saying, oh, I can't enjoy it. I came in trying to make her feel better as a guy, first of all, who sympathizes. I'm like, listen. If you're not going to take action about the situation, don't sit there and say, I can't enjoy Eid because you didn't just wake up today and Sudan was effed up. Right or wrong? My auntie used to be a journalist. She chose to stand up against the Omar Bashir regime. She cared about her people more than they cared about themselves. Kind of like me today. Did her people celebrate her, make her a hero? Did they? No, here's what they did. They put the R word on my auntie. And left her body riddled with bullets. When they went to report the incident, the same people they report to is the people who did it. They laughed it off. So my auntie, and I'm glad I'm not monetizing, she died like a dog. And like a better, better, like Trump said, he died like a dog. She died like a dog. 
Case closed, no investigation. Under who? Under Omar Bashir. Now, how did the men in the so-called society she, she died for react to that? They pulled the Islamic card, the victim blaming. Oh, you know how they, you know when somebody get our word, they're like, you know, you put yourself in that position. How? She came out the building where she wrote what she wrote. It snatched her off the street. But of course, all these quote unquote men, right? Are you men? Are you real men? Right? Sat there quiet. So shut up and eat that missile. I hope it come to your house. Because that's the price you pay. When somebody come on here and, and lose his fucking mind, telling you, motherfucker, take the stick out of your asshole and open your eyes, you sit there and criticize me. You criticize me? That's the price you pay for it. The army that's supposed to protect you shot a missile at your house. Enjoy. That's the price you pay for being stupid. That's the price you pay for being an asshole. And you want to be you, you want to take out all this anger and frustration on a kid? To make him a real man? You're not a real man. I open Sudanese TV and all they talking about is, 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 is the blue pill. And not even the red blue pill. They're talking about Viagra. Because half of y'all can't get up for your wife. You know why you can't get it up for your wife? Because you're not a man. You're not a man, bro. That's why you can't get it up. You don't need a pill to make you get it up. If you was a man that said, you know what? This is unacceptable. We had enough. You want to you, you you know what it does to sit there and complain? And you want to complain to me? I don't give a fuck about you, bro. Straight up. You don't want to fix your own situation. I tried. My auntie tried. She gave up her life and bloodshed. And the, my family still feels the grief of the blood spilled for your fucking country. And what do you do? You turn around here talking about... Not trying to... Let me read you the stupid bitch, what she said. Where is it? Stupid bitch. Not trying to be rude either, hun. But you don't have any right to be speaking on a situation. You haven't been dared. And what was it? And clearly, you haven't. So go back to your enjoyment. No one asks for your tooth tanks. Thanks. X. X. They're going to X you out of existence, bitch. Take action and shut the fuck up. If I was out there, it'd be a military coup. You'd be looking at the head of state right here. But all of you, you're a country, you're grown men, right? You're grown men, aren't you? You man, you manhood. Where is that manhood? I don't see it. Can't even get it up for your wife talking about manhood. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Where is that manhood? How is it that, how many, how many is it of y'all? Let me ask you a question. How many is it of y'all? Couple million? I don't give a fuck. Millions of men. Quote unquote real men. Where is the real men when it counts? How is it the two old niggas? Look at them. Look at them. They don't even, bro. Look at me. I'm not that muscular. I'm not. I'm skinny like Soldier Boy. But if it was wartime, I'd put my knee on his neck. I put a military boot on his neck, kind of like they did my auntie. It'd be revenge, and I'd execute them in a brutalist way. I'd have them be done with an anti-aircraft gun in front of everybody, like Kim Jong-un. Because y'all don't mind it. I don't want to hear any of y'all complain to me. Either get the fuck out of Sudan, go somewhere safe, or if you're going to sit there and you're going to claim to be a real man, that claim is false. Because that manhood, I only see it on, on kids, on people who, 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 are, who you're able to bully. You see what I'm saying? People with less money than you. But when you're a dictator, so you criticize the artist for making art about violence. Let me tell you something. Art imitates reality. So you're mad at the artist, but you're not mad at the reality? You want to come act tough on the artist? Nah, you're not tough. You're a bitch. You're a pussy. I should fuck your wife. 
and kill you in broad daylight in a video game because you're not a man. All that manhood, they told you, they told you stay in the house. It's a war. So millions of y'all stayed in the house. Instead of gathering up and figuring out how to fuck you in them problems. Instead, you choose, no, 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 let's not do that. Let's sit on here and complain. Complain, 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 complain. The situation is bad. The situation is horrible. The situation... It's been bad for 60 years. What do you want? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I told you what I would do. It would be a military coup. I would have been took over. It's millions of y'all. And one guy get to sit there and control y'all for 30 years? How? Two guys now. A country has two people. <laughs> they are willing to spill the blood of you and your entire people. Just so they can sit in power. So you started a revolution. You took Bashir out. Just to have the same thing repeat again? My auntie was... When I tell people, they're like, oh, that's sad. Or they act like how she, how she already acted. This is not the first time I tell someone my auntie's story and they respond with disrespect. Or they try to compare struggles. My auntie was a doctor and she died while she, you know, convert. And her story is amazing. And they named the street after her. Well, good for you, NPR. But, and of course, I say this with love, but you're, don't sit here and try to compare struggles with me. Because your auntie at least got, got, the, got the, she got the respect she deserves. Rightfully so. She got a documentary about her. Cool. Nigga, my auntie didn't even get people feeling sad for her. Not because her story didn't warrant that it should, because it's, 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 you're supposed to feel sad, yeah. You're supposed to feel guilty, because you, you, you contributed to this. No, people, did, people were afraid to feel bad because of what the government might do to them. The millions of them. They're afraid of what Omar... Well, fuck y'all. Straight up. You're a country full of cowards. My auntie died a hero, and she will be remembered a hero. I don't give a fuck. If y'all don't want to acknowledge it, I'll acknowledge it. And I guard that with my blood even if I die in the process. What? I said it. Come kill me. You don't like it. You guys, you guys fought a revolution a few years ago. And that didn't get covered in the media. They had to post black squares and blue, blue squares, blue squares. Does that represent the Viagra that y'all keep advertising on TV? At Shab, Herbs. Herbs. And you, a country like that got the nerve to go punish kids for, for smoking, what they call it their sashimundi, or marijuana, cannabis. You fucking idiot, you. How can they not smoke cannabis when a country looks like that? Nigga, that's the escape. If you had any, any if I was head of state, first of all, cannabis is legal. And just like you do bringi, cigarettes, you do it and be regulated. And alcohol would be regulated. And Islam would no longer be a, a tool used to enforce dictatorship. Pussy. Because most of y'all don't give a fuck about Islam like that. If you did, people's lives would matter a little more to y'all. You have a little more humanity and compassion. Islam never said put a dictator on top of y'all. Islam didn't legalize murder. Islam did not, I was going to save this for a separate video. Remind me to tell you about the glass bottle. I'm going to make a separate video called the glass bottle. That's the torture mechanisms dictators like I'm going to use every time somebody protested and he used it against dissidents and opposition. Remind me to tell you about the glass bottle. It's very graphic. Iron Maiden. You thought that was bad? That didn't even exist. I'll tell you some stuff that exists for real, and they don't tell you about it. They tell you about Ukraine all day. I'm going to make a video on that as well. War is never good. 
That's number one. The only time war I support it, the only time, is in self-defense. And even then it should be contained and peace talks should be had first. Because even in self-defense, blood spilling is not a good option. But that's, of course, if you're defending yourself against the enemy. And the army, in such cases, right, is supposed to what? Protect you. Right or wrong? Now, the army that's supposed to protect you hits you with a missile on top of your head. And you, what did you do? Did you fight it? You say, this is unacceptable. You know, you know why I become, hold on, because that's the army that's supposed to protect you. They hit you with the missile. You're the enemy. You're the enemy. I can't enjoy Eid. You shouldn't enjoy Eid. And you know why I talk to you and I talk to the older motherfuckers like this? This is why. I'm 25 years old. 20 years, 25 is a long time. When people get sentenced to 25 to life, it's basically life. It's a long time. I'm young, but it's a long time. I was born. Omar Bashir was president. Only two years ago, he just, just stopped becoming president. So pretty much my whole life, y'all jumped from dictator to dictator. It's been a dictatorship. And the men... The real man is supposed to be Sudan. You can't be doing like that. Okay, cool. What did you do? What did the, what did real real men do when it's time to be a real man? Besides cower, stay in the house, follow rules and instructions, and take out the frustration of not doing so on the younger guys under the guys are taking me. Cause y'all beat y'all too. I I got beat mercilessly, bro. I love my father. I'm never going to make him look bad. Culturally, that's cool. It's accepted. Even when I lived in Arabia and he used to beat the b black off me, people felt bad because it was like, that's not even normal by Arabian standards. I don't blame the man. I love him. I protect him. It's my dad. He's not perfect. But I'm not, I'm not speaking about one person here. I'm speaking about millions of people who do the same shit. He is traumatized by the motherfuckers beforehand. The reason I call that bitch a stupid bitch was she, I was being nice to her. I was trying to make her feel better. Look how she came at me. So she's a stupid bitch, and I would say that again and again and again and again until she understands she's a stupid bitch, and I'm not taking it back unless she issues an apology. Because I, my mother still to this day, you understand when, when, when someone in your family Imagine the mother of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims. They don't just pop her son, cut, get cut up like this, and then it's over two months later. So yeah, you were saying, when we go into the beach. No, bitch, that's generational trauma. That's trauma carried on generation after generation, ho. When you get to sit here in this modern day and age on your Twitter while you follow their instructions like a bitch that you are, you're a bitch. I called her a pretty lady at first until she got disrespectful to my auntie, which you guys know the story. So yeah, she's a bitch. I don't take that back. I don't disrespect women. I disrespect bitches, stupid bitches. Yeah. You hate the women? Well, I told you about the woman that very close to me who's not going to come back home, by the way. She, they killed her. And they didn't just kill her from a sniper. Pew. Uh. They ah uh, and riddled her with bullets. You understand riddled with bullets? Imagine I show you a body that got 100 bullet shots. How'd you feel? Imagine I tell you that body got no justice after being R-worded by the same people supposed to protect you. Imagine I tell you that when you tell people that this person went out this way, and they weren't just walking down the street late at night by the club. No, they were journalists trying to free you, help you out. And how did you react? You gave me that disrespect? I take it not. Fuck your whole country. If you're not willing to fight for it, then fuck you. Don't complain to me. You want me to feel bad for you? For what? 
I was born into bullshit. I became a grown man into bullshit. One year, I decided to do revolution, and you managed to do it. But because you're so stupid and just so used to being cowardly, and uh-uh, you went back to normal. And instead, one country got two armies? Two armies? One country got two armies. And you're not the war right now. I'm, may I remind you? If you were in Yemen, I'd be like, okay. I sympathize. These two armies are spilling your blood to control you, MP. At some point, you got to stop being an NPC. At some point, you got to wake up and say, until when? How long has it been bad? The situation, how long has it been bad? What's new? The missiles is new? No, it's not. You tell me. Until when do people like me come on YouTube and help you out and lose money in the process and you ignore our hate and jealousy and then you live to pay the price but then you want to complain and make me feel bad? I don't give a fuck. Feel bad. I'm not going to feel bad for you. Truth be told, I got money, nigga. I escaped the situation, bitch ass nigga. People like me don't even give you give a fuck about you. They turn their back on you and they keep their money in their pocket. They don't lose a cent trying to save you, bitch. I do. How do you pay me? This is the thanks I get? Nah, fuck you. Fuck you dead people. Fuck them, yep. Fuck all of them. They don't matter. They died. You know what? I tell you, I'm going to put extra disrespect on top of it. Your people died and they good. They deserve to die because you let it happen. On top of that, they did not die heroes like my auntie did that you trying to disrespect. Ho. They died statistics. Nobody give a fuck about them. Nobody will give a fuck about them because you let it happen. Hit like, smash subscribe. Malcolm X, who got assassinated, just like many people who did real change, like Martin Luther. Oh, you want recent examples? I'm not. I'm done. I'm not going to risk my life for you. Fuck you. He said, nobody's going to give you freedom. You got to take it. He said, if you are a man, you take it. He didn't say, go and cry to the West so they feel bad for you. You can go to the West and be a refugee and escape. But if you really want to you wanna make chains, you got to be a change. They tell you sit in the house, you got to violate some rules. I'm sorry. I'm not inciting anything, but that's just the reality of it. You guys managed to protest and, 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 and take Omar Bashir out of office after how many years? You did that. Good. They didn't report on you. You did the, the blue squares. I, I supported you. Nigga, I made people who are racist in real life put blue squares on the shit for you. So they racist, but they let that BBC though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Nigga, you are a waste of a BBC. Give it to me. No homo. What? No, don't give it to me. Take it back. Give me extra inches to make mine bigger. Because mine deserves it more than you do. Because I can, mine can get up. You know why mine can get up? Because some days, a situation comes up in real life. For example, hypothetically. Where someone makes me act like, tries to like, you know, if I act like a bitch that day, I will feel like a bitch. And when I'm trying to have, uh-uh, mine won't get up because subconsciously my manhood like kind of just got attacked there. But when I come on here and risk my life, sure, they would be like, oh, you're going to get killed. Nigga, I can get my dick up. Because even though I risk my life and I'll do some things, I lost money. But inside, not only is my manhood completed, my manhood is not completed by beating a child up. Sudanese man. My manhood is not completed by, by getting money. Because it could actually. None of us. But it's completed by making change and using my voice and... and, and it's not really the voice, it's the act of bravery. 
it takes bravery bravery to come on here on camera in the first place. They hate that. That's why they hate me. Just me sitting on here with on top of the camera talking how I'm talking. A lot of them just can't get to that position in the first place, let alone talk about stuff of substance. They need six people to sit with them and talk about shit like men and women. That shit don't fucking matter. As if men and women just got invented. Men and women been around since the caveman days. You niggas have no substance and you will never compete with me. Fuck you and fuck your show. Nigga, they put Bill C-11 in Canada. And I still managed to have viewers and a fan base. You know why? Because I have substance. The little fan base that I do, I do right by them. I don't sit there and act cocky. Want them to worship me while I act mysterious and cool. Fuck you. You're not mysterious. You're not cool. What's mysterious to you? What's mysterious about you? For you niggas that want to act mysterious. Oh, I can't post pics. I can't talk on her. I'm mysterious. I'm cool. There is nothing mysterious. What's the mystery? I will solve the mystery. You know what Scooby do? I'll solve your mystery. Ready? You're broke. That's the mystery. Shrek? Yep, that's the mystery. He's broke. There you go. That's your mystery. No more mystery. Fuck out of here. You better hit like. You better smash subscribe. Did the media even tell you there's a war if you don't know? No, they didn't. I did. One year before the whole world suddenly woke up to China, I, was I did four videos on China. C-11 censored them. Check the dates. I told Kwando to stay off the, the, the fucking bullshit. The, 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 the. I told Kwando it's okay to not be a gangster. It's okay to get out the gang. It's okay. You don't have to blood in, blood out. The stuff I said to him, of course, nobody likes it for my video. But he went on Instagram and he copied the stuff that I say word for word with my own style of writing. Like, you can't tell me he didn't take that from me. I didn't ask for credit. Nobody watch you. Ask Flight React. I ask Flight Reacts how he says hola. Nigga, that's mine. In Canada, people say holly, holly. I made that a thing, holly. By the time you watch this video, I will own the trademark rights to that, bro. So fuck you. Nigga, I make change, nigga. All y'all sit there. Take action in the time of war. Well, bitch, they took action on top of your head. They, took, they chose the action to fly a missile on your head so they can rule you like the bitch that you are. And your people. Fuck them. Fuck you too. They got a problem, come kill me. They took action. The only person didn't act to take action is the one being ruled. I'm from Sudan, but I don't claim Sudan because they don't claim me. They don't help me. They don't support me. They say I'm not Sudanese enough. I was born in Sudan. I grew up in Arabia. I claim Arabia, even if they don't claim me, because that's all I know. And at least in Arabia, the concept of manhood is there. <laughs> Shout out to Arabia. They are the reason we have two armies. Because when it was war in Yemen, they, they had the Saudi soldiers, cool. But they paid a lot of armies from like uh, other countries, like Sudan. Sudan was so poor, they had to send their men to armies and stuff. They came back with the training and decided to, to, to treat their own people like this. I'll do a separate video if you want. Until then, man up. Don't complain to me. You've been complaining to me your whole life. I'm tired of hearing you complain. Either you take action or you shut up. America's not going to help you. They only help Ukraine because of their own interests, and it's obvious. Video coming. AK is going to tell you the truth and the ugliest truth in the ugly, ugliest way possible.
making this video takes a lot of time and effort and it's demonetized because I had to I had to speak. Hit the like, hit the share button. I'm not gonna repeat it for you. Share, click, share, click, share, click, share. I live in Canada. Bill C11 is in Canada. So this if you found this video anyway, it's a miracle. Share it because I don't just sit here and speak truth like this for fun. Share it. Let me know what you think, even if you disagree. Come respectful. That's YouTube rules, not mine. I don't mind the disrespect, but in the comments, we have to be respectful. So let me know if you disagree and why. If you agree and why. Um, v Lone Warrior comes out on May 4th, new album. Um, a lot of stuff coming, but I'm going to be quiet. I let you watch. Hit like, smash, subscribe. It's your boy AK. I'm out of here. I'm the only person who told you a lot of stuff. Hate me and love me, be honest. If they come assassinate me, nobody else would do it. Even if they do it, it won't be as funny. So, Ni hao, nigga.